This Week in Science, we're exploring inherited traits and learned behaviors. The main ideas that we'll be talking about today are that some characteristics are inherited from parent to offspring while others are acquired and others are learned behaviors. So let's start with some vocab. An organism, a living thing, trait, a single characteristic of something that helps define it, inherited, passed from parent to offspring, offspring the child or offshoot from a parent, offshoot being like if we're talking about a plant or something, Adaptation, an inherited trait that becomes more common by helping individuals that have it to survive and reproduce. And heredity, the passing of traits from parent to offspring. Like if something's um, hereditary, it's passed from parent to offspring. Inherited traits. So these are things that are passed from your parent to offspring. Um, so here we can see three parents and then the offspring would be their kids or if you were talking about a plant it would be a plant that um, you know a seed was taken from one plant to make another plant grow the second plant that grew from the original is the offspring or or the offshoot so what do you notice about these offspring? We've got the kids from before, some cute little monkeys, some plants, and some fish. What I notice is when I look at them, the physical characteristics are very similar, right? Those fish have the same lines. Um, the people have the similar skin tones and smiles um, or or hair type or eye color as their parent. Um, those monkeys' fur looks very fr very similar, and those plants look the same. So offspring and parents physically will look similar. So inherited traits are physical characteristics passed from parent to offspring. So maybe you have an attached or unattached earlobe. You guys should check these out and see and see what your parents have as well. Or the color of your eyes. Um, some people might have dimples. That would be an inherited trait. Or the color of a goldfish. Or the shape and color of a leaf. Now, I want to point out that some traits um, – can be passed down without being physically shown um, like in your parents. So if you have dimples and your parents do not, that means they have like in their genetic makeup, they have a recessive trait of dimples that doesn't always show unless it's there's not like another trait to make to cover it up. So you might have traits that are passed down through your genetics that aren't always shown, but you still have that trait from your parents, if that makes sense. There are some traits, like physical things, that are not inherited or um, not born with. And these would be, we can call them acquired traits. So this girl on the monkey bars, Let's say, you know, when you go on the monkey bars a lot and then you get those calluses or those blisters on your hand, that's an example of an acquired physical trait. Um, you weren't born with that. I didn't want to put a picture of gross calluses in there, so I just put monkey bars. Or this little kid, let's say he, he fell off his bike and he broke some of his fingers. Um, he was not born with that, but now it's a part of his physical being. Maybe those bones are a little bit weaker or maybe they like bend in or something that's not inherited but it is a physical trait of his harry potter he's got a scar on his forehead scars are great examples of acquired traits it is a physical trait that describes you but it is not inherited you were not born with it if you scrape your knee that's or you hurt your leg that's another thing that you are not born with but describes you physically here's one that's not human related um, trees can bend from harsh winds now a physical characteristic of physical trait of that tree is that it is bent pretty crazily, I might add, 
but it was not born like that. It just acquired that after an experience, right? Of the harsh wind. So now that we've talked about inherited traits and acquired traits, um, let's talk about learned behavior. So behavior that's acquired through experience. Um, and we're gonna be talking about learned behaviors of organisms, of living things, plants, or animals. So a learned behavior, a wolf pack teaching pups to hunt. So wolf puppies are not are not born knowing how to hunt, right? So their their parents have to teach them or their pack has to teach them um, and then they'll pick up those hunting skills. It's something passed down through practice. Writing an essay, Mr. Keffler knows y'all need to practice and you need to learn how to write an essay. That's not something you're naturally born with the ability to do. A parrot saying hello. A parrot does not just automatically talk to you, all he wants a cracker. A parrot has to be taught that. Um, and so that is a learned behavior of a bird. And then playing a musical instrument. Y'all in orchestra, y'all with your recorders, you know playing an instrument is not something that just naturally happens that you just know how to do. You have to practice and practice and, and teach yourself or have somebody else teach you how to do that. So, is it an inherited trait or learned behavior? Let's practice. What do you think, one, reading a book is, and what do you think, two, freckles are? Number one, reading a book is a learned behavior. Miss Kelly taught most of you guys how to read a book. So reading a book is not something you naturally know how to do. You have to be taught how to read. Freckles, on the other hand, is inherited. That's something maybe your mom has freckles and that's why you have freckles. Or your grandma has freckles and that's why you have freckles. So that's something that you could have in your genetics in your genes that's passed down to you from parent to offspring. Next, is it an inherited trait or learned behavior? We're doing your exit ticket, riding a bike. What do you think? Is this inherited trait or learned behavior? Riding a bike is a learned behavior because it's not something that you naturally know how to do. It's taught. I think traits are super interesting, so I looked up some funky ones, and while some of these are well-tested um, in research in the scientific community, community, I think some of them could use some more, but they're really funny. Um, and th think about whether or not your parents feel this way or whether you feel this way and if it's passed down. So your pain tolerance, um, how tough are you and how do you experience pain? That could be passed down. The habit of sneezing at the sun. Oh my gosh, I definitely have that. I sneeze at the sun. A love for or hatred for the gym. Now, I hate the gym. And I'll tell you, my parents don't go to the gym either. They'll like work out, but not at the gym. Um, early bird or night owl. So are you an early riser or would you prefer to stay up late? Do your parents feel the same way? I'm a night owl. Coffee obsession. Y'all know me, love coffee. My parents love coffee. So do my grandparents. Um, what about your parents? Do you think you'll have a coffee obsession, obsession when you're older? Or risk taking, whether this one was specifically, they did a, like asked a bunch of skiers um, and snowboarders about whether they have the urge to go down a black diamond. And I guess the research coming back showed that it was genetic, which I think is crazy. Um, and also, like, I don't have that urge, but my brothers do, so I would be interested to see um, how that could play into it. That one, I think, could use some more research, but this is just some cool inherited traits that I thought would be fun as a bonus.